What's up, Scorpio? And what's up, my beautiful divine feminines? How are you guys doing, okay? So if you haven't tell, haven't been able to tell, this is going to be a message for my divine feminines, okay? That's on this twin flame journey. We're going to see what's going on with your masculine as well, but this is going to be just for you guys, okay? I feel like sometimes we just need messages for ourselves, Scorpio. Then, you know, we get back to dealing with this twin in this situation, all right? So, Scorpio, if anything resonates for you guys, like this video, comment, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like along this twin flame journey, you have gained a lot of strength. I feel like that you guys are standing in your power and you become a lot stronger than you have been ever before. You see this infinity sign? It talks about infinite, okay, or indefinite. So I feel like you guys have gained indefinite strength. It was like the strength that you're gaining, this is going to keep building and building and building, okay? And I feel like you have to have a lot of courage also to take a leap of faith because a lot of you guys, the leap of faith that you had to take on this journey was to be able to walk this journey on your own because your twin was not willing to put in the work that you did, Scorpio. They was not willing to go through the dark night of the soul. They was not willing to go through the highs and lows of, you know, becoming a better person. This is someone that was used to being you know, stuck in the way they were. So, Scorpio, I feel like you have gained a lot of strength, okay? For some of you guys, you have Leo in your chart. But it's like you have gained a lot of strength. You gained a lot of courage here. And I feel like the divine has been protecting you throughout this twin flame journey. Messages for my divine feminine. Messages for my divine feminine. All right. Yes, divine feminine. We have become the queen of swords, baby. We... It ain't nothing to cut that off, okay? So, Scorpio, we is not down with the nonsense, all right? We know that the Queen of Swords is a non nonsense, a non she ain't with that bullshit, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, Scorpio. She's a non nonsense person, all right? So, I feel like you guys are, are in this energy. If you're cutting out what no longer serves you, that talks about your twin and how you're going to take that leap of faith, you're going to have the strength and courage, and you're going to have to cut off your twin if that what it comes down to. But I feel like a lot of you guys, include me, Scorpio, Cause I'm on this twin flame journey as well. It's like we we stepped into this queen of swords energy. It's like we're not here for the BS no more. Okay, we ain't here to see how she kind of wave on her hand. Like, come on, her. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, go on, miss me with that BS. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to your twin, you cutting them off. When it comes to people that are not going to help you elevate in your life, Scorpio, you cutting them folks off. For people that no longer serve your highest purpose, you cutting them people off, Scorpio. We all about growth, baby. All right. Here. What message do you have for my divine feminine? Messages for my divine feminine Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. A lot of us, we have been in hermit mode, Scorpio. This talks about going and being by yourself, okay? A lot of us, we have been by ourselves for a long time, maybe three to six months, six to a year, a year or more, Scorpio. But during this time of being to yourself, I feel like, and let me say this, Scorpio, because I, I had to question this myself. I questioned for a while because I have been manifesting. You know, I want to be aligned with more like-minded people. It's like, you know, I've, I'm, I have my business here. I'm trying to start my business. I got some things I want to do. So it's like, I want to be aligned with people that's doing what I'm doing. You know, people that I can learn and grow from. We can learn and grow from each other, you know. But I feel like during this time of being by yourself, God is putting you by yourself, first of all, to make you realize you don't need nobody else but him, Scorpio, okay? You don't need nobody but God, your ancestors, your spirit guides. You know what I'm saying? Your angels, that's all you need. And I feel like in this hermit mode, you have seen the light and you realized that, okay? You realize, yeah, it could have been some dark moments. It was dark being by yourself, but God always shown you the light, okay? He didn't leave you just butt out naked. And you know what I'm saying? In the dark, okay? He always left a light there. Kind of like Motel 6. He left a light on for you so that you can always find your way, okay? I feel like Scorpio, at one point in time, we was in this nine of sports energy, okay? We was having countless sleepless nights. We couldn't sleep for... But shit, you know what I'm saying? Because thinking about the twin flame financial, thinking about our twin, how they did us wrong, how we want to say this, why he takes us back, all this stuff. And it was like we had, we were in this energy. And some of you guys, you could still be in this energy. And I feel like that's because you need to work on this. You need to work on your strength and your courage when it comes to this twin flame financial. Don't let your twin overwhelm your power. Don't let your twin take your, your, your power away from you, okay? When you can't sleep and you can't eat and you can't do nothing, you can't function, right? 
All right, Scorpio, and a lot of us, we about to be successful, Scorpio. We're about to have the success. Some of you guys, you're going to be a celebrity, okay? You're going to be in the spotlight. You're going to get the recognition, okay? The universe is going to, your spirit guides, God is going to, to bless you with abundance, and they're going to give you the recognition, the rewards, the praise that you deserve because you put in the hard work, okay? You learn how to cut people off that no longer serve you. You learn to just move and maneuver throughout this journey by yourself, Scorpio, and look, they on that horse by themselves. Ain't nobody else up on that horse sharing that spotlight. Ain't nobody else up on that horse being in the spotlight and, and, and getting that recognition. It's all you, Scorpio. So let's pull some messages from the Divine Feminine. Oh, I love it. Let's see what this Divine Feminine and what we have to say in this connection. What messages do you have for my Scorpio spirit? What does this Divine Feminine want to say? Messages from my Divine Feminine spirit. Messages from my Divine Feminine. Messages from the Divine Feminine Spirit. All right. So, Scorpio, for some of you guys, you were having sleepless nights because you were wondering why your twin just wouldn't open up. Why this person just can't express themselves? Why this person can't really tell me how they feel, you know? And it, it had you in your mind. And it had you in your mind so more, Scorpio. It was like you was leaving. You was losing sleep. It was like you let this, this person have so much power over you. It was like you couldn't even sleep. You were having sleepless nights, wondering why this person treated you the way you did. It's like you gave your all to your twin, okay? You always there. You made yourself available, over available. You overextended when it came to this person. It was like you couldn't sleep. You couldn't understand why this person was treating you like this. Like you didn't treat this person like this. Scorpio, we're the type of people, you know, we believe in reciprocity. What I give you, you expect back in return. And then we have, you put me through so much emotionally. Yep, once again, having these sleepless nights, this person put you so, through so much emotionally. Your twin is someone, they only did this, Scorpio, because you really love this person, okay? Only someone that you love can have you missing sleep over them. Because I'm going to tell you right now, baby, I ain't missing no sleep over nobody, all right? I made a business energy in the past, but you best believe I'm getting all my dudes these days. Then we have, I must break these generational curses. So I feel like, Scorpio, you guys are in the, some of you guys have already broken a lot of your generational curses, okay? This talks about, then your ancestors put you here to break those curses so that you, the next generation, your children and their children, children, you know, they don't have to be bound down by these curses that were planted here before you, Scorpio. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you're going to get the recognition and reward. You're going to get the success from spirit because you're going to break these generational curses, okay? You're going to provide and open the way for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren so they can become the best version of themselves. They don't have to go through these trials and tribulations that you went through, Scorpio. One more card, Spirit. All right, but we have, I don't want nobody else but you. So, Scorpio, some of you guys, even though you're getting this success, you know, you're going to be happy. You're still going to be thinking about your twin because deep down, this is your other half. And you don't want nobody else but them, Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe, you guys.